Welcome once again to my channel. I'm Tina with Tina's Inspired Art. And before we get into our pour for today, I wanted to go ahead and show you last week's pour dried results. And so she's sitting right here on my easel and I actually think she came out so pretty. So I'm gonna let you see this on my easel, which I absolutely love too. I love this big easel. I like to do a lot of my hand painting on the easel, but I have her propped up on this big, beautiful easel. I just love it. And I wanna show you the dried results because I think she looks super pretty and just so fun with that hummingbird right in the center of this painting. I wanna let you look at the details. I just think she came out so beautiful. If you haven't already seen this video, I'll post a link so you guys can click right on it so you can see exactly how I made this beauty. I've also got an additional short video to show you some of the details of how I added just some of these little embellishments on top of this pour. So you can watch that one as well, but I really think she came out so gorgeous. Also, next week, be looking on my social media accounts at Tina's Inspired Art, where I'll be posting information about the launch of my Botanical Dutch Pour course. It's launching on the Smart Art Courses platform that Rinska Downa and Molly with Molly's Artistry invited me to build this course on their platform. So I'm super excited about launching this course so you guys can take advantage of creating art that looks like this and beyond. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Welcome to my channel once again. So happy that you're here with me. We're gonna do another pour today. It's gonna be a botanical Dutch pour and we're gonna be working with the blues today. I'm excited about this color palette, all different shades of blues that we will get into. And we are gonna do a beautiful pour on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna use the base layer, my house interior base layer, and it's a nice consistency. As you can see, this paint is just straight out. It's just straight out of the can, and you can see how it kind of drips. It's, it's like honey to me. So you can see that dripping. That's what you want. I think now what I'm going to do is talk through my color palette. This is like a Prussian blue. It's a Prussian blue, a cerulean blue, an iridescent purple, iridescent white, a blue black, and this is a viridian blue. That's my color choices for today. And I think I'm gonna start with this end and go with this Prussian blue to lay out my design first. And I'm gonna not start in the corner, but I'm gonna start about right here. And like that.
I wish this pat this canvas was a lot larger because I really wanted this to look a little bit different um, but because I'm working on a smaller canvas um, I need to kind of condense my design that I'm thinking about but that's the general idea So something like that. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. We had a huge storm. We lost power at 12.30 last night and we didn't get power up until probably 10 minutes before I started this pour. So we've been without power. I don't know if I'll be able to contain it on the canvas itself, but we'll try to do our best. I think we're about ready to do this. I think the design's looking pretty, nice composition, so let's try it out. You know, I, I've got this little duster. I wanted, I've always wanted to try this, and I might try it right now, just to see if it's gonna work. We'll see. much air. All right, so I'm going to scrape this. I didn't like it at all. That's what you do when you don't like it. You just got to scrape it. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna use this leftover paint and actually turned like a, a soft blue color. So this is the paint that came off my canvas and now it's a nice soft blue color. So we're gonna work with it. We'll give it a whirl one more time. I'm gonna start off with this white iridescent. I'm gonna go with a dot right there. Something like that. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this iridescent blue black. This blue, this is that Russian blue. A little bit more with some of this iridescent white. Just a tad bit of this little bit of this blue black. I'm gonna blow it out 
and cross. Cross my fingers, it's gonna work this time. a little bit of a clump. Right. Get that out. But yes, that looks a lot better. Just a couple areas I do want to blow out. Like that. Other than that, I think we're good. We're going to put a focal point right in here. And then we'll just bring it all together. That focal point right in here. I think I like this one better without the purple in there. This is where that artistry comes in now, is really designing it to make it look really pretty, the composition, you just can really make it look pretty. Colors really look great together. Sometimes you have to round out that focal point to really bring it more together. That background is just a hint of light blue and it's working with these colors. I think with these leaves here, I'm just going to have a little indent. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in like I did my last one. Not that these look like Monstera's, but you know how the Monstera leaves go in and out? I like that look, so. I'm going to just bring these leaves just in a little bit, not all the way through.
about that? I think that looks great. You can hang it this way or you can hang it this way. I think this came out pretty now. I'm very happy with it. Fix the center just a tad bit more. I'll probably put a, a pretty gem right there in that middle and make it really come together. So I think we did it guys. I think she's very, very stunning now. This is how I was envisioning this one. So it just took me a couple tries to get there. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.